So guys, welcome to another video. Please hit that like and subscribe button and welcome to Running Adventures. First off, before we even start this video, please hit that like button because right now I'm outside. I know for a long time, like since September, I've been filming in my room. This is the first time I've actually filmed outside in like four months. It's super sunny too. I picked the sunniest day in the past two weeks to film this video. Also, my last video got eight views and four of them were mine and I know that's because of President's Day weekend and that was last week. Recently, a lot of YouTubers have found out that their subscribers haven't been given a notification bell when their video comes out. So I was just wondering if you guys could tell me in the comment section if last video or this video you got a notification bell. Let's just jump right into the video. I'm going to be talking about my National Junior Olympics cross country experience. I'm going to be telling you guys if it was worth it. Was it worth my time and the money it takes to go to the Junior Olympics? Hopefully this video helps anyone who's watched this and wants to do the Junior Olympics in the future. If you're thinking about it, I hope this video helps you. Let's start off by talking about how we even qualified for the Junior Olympics. I started cross country in 6th grade. The first 5 races of my season were okay. I placed in the middle of the first 5 races. The 6th race is when I went fast for the first time. The fastest runner on my team at the time, Garrett Smith, he currently lives in Hawaii right now and he placed 4th in the Hawaii State Cross Country Championships as a sophomore. So that is super good. He was going to move to Hawaii and I really wanted to beat him. Closest anyone had ever come to beating him was two minutes away. So he was the fast guy. My very last race I was like, you know, I really want to beat him. If you're wondering, I didn't beat him, but I came within a minute of him. He placed 25th out of 150 people as a 6th grader. It was 3,000 meters. My time was 12 minutes and 27 seconds. I almost got a medal. I was five places away. My next race after he moved, I placed seventh. I was the fastest on my entire team as a little sixth grader. That's when I first had an idea that maybe I will be running on the nationals level one day. My seventh grade year I did pretty good. Usually I place in the top 35 at meets. On the bigger ones I placed around 40-ish and 60-ish. My very last meet I finally got a medal. My eighth grade year though was when I really did good. I placed in the top 10 in almost every single race. There was only two races that I didn't place in the top 10. That was the Tiger Grizz and Bob Furman. At the Tiger Grizz, I placed 20 and Bob Furman. I placed 53. Midway through October, the high school cross country coach reached out to me and he's like, Hey, I know you've been doing really good this season. I don't offer this to a lot of people, but I was wondering if we could go to the Junior Olympics Regionals in Boise. If you were in the top three, we will go to Tallahassee, Florida together. Like, what? Uh -uh. So I trained my butt off all the way through October and early November. I trained six days a week, and that was really hard, especially since my actual cross-country season had ended, but I did it. And at the Junior Olympics Regionals, I placed fifth. So at first, I was really sad because I ran super hard. My time was like 14 minutes and 39 seconds. And then we went up to this counter, and this lady was giving out medals and telling you your time. And if you had a medal, you would go to the Nationals. So she gave me a medal, and she's like, you go to the Nationals, buddy. Top 10, go to Nationals. That's how I qualified for the Junior Olympics Nationals. I'm going to tell you things that were worth it and things that weren't worth it. I'm going to start with the things that weren't worth it. And there was only one thing that wasn't worth it about the Junior Olympics. And that was that you had to pay for your entire trip. They don't even help you at all. All they give you is a medal. That's the only thing I'm disappointed in. Everything else was worth it, and I'll go in depth about the things that were worth it. First reason it's worth it is because you get to meet people from all around the country that just love running with a passion. I remember the first time I actually saw people from all around the country was when we were at the merchandise store, and there were like hundreds of kids in there. I met some cool people. I met someone from New Jersey. And I think someone from Ryan Trahan's Cross Country Channel on the back of his shirt it said Rice. So I was like, mm. I'm pretty sure he was on one of Ryan's videos, the 13 days out from state. I saw one of the kids that ran 8 miles. Second off, the Junior Olympics isn't as big as Nike Cross Nationals or Foot Locker. I felt like I was more involved in it because it was smaller, like Ryan Trahan. He sells Neptune bottles in his community is medium small but because it's medium small you get to be so close with him subscribers and his neptune base and that's kind of what the junior olympics is like you're kind of supporting something big at the time it's little i for sure think that the junior olympics is going to grow in the future the 
third reason it's worth it is because once they choose a course location, I felt like the Junior Olympics Association put so much work into the course. I know when I went to Florida, it was super green there. They mowed the lawn and the finish line was huge. Sadly, it, it rained all night, night before the race, and yet they still held the meet even after crazy weather. So they were really devoted to making sure that you had your own personal fastest time. They want you to PR. They will have the best course you can ask for. And this may not apply to every single year or location, but for sure it applied to 2017. It's gonna be the 2021 NCAA course, so that's really special. Also, they had a big screen that you see at NCAA or Nike Cross Nationals or Foot Locker races. You can actually see the entire race on this giant screen. They get medals to the top 25. They give you a special bike bag for your shoes. They give you a free pop socket. Another reason is because they have some sick merchandise. You see this? The biggest reason the Junior Olympics Nationals was worth it is because first off, you get to be part of a Nationals meet. There's a lot of teams that are able to go. There's two from each region, and there's like at least 30 regions. The most important thing is they want you to share the experience with your family, your teammates, and your coaches. The biggest reason the Junior Olympics was worth it to me is because the Junior Olympics community is just so much closer together. I think of it like a circle. So the Junior Olympics community is like a medium-sized circle, but since it's medium-sized, it's closer together. The Nike Cross Nationals and Foot Locker Nationals community is a giant circle and it's not very close together because it's so big. Because the Foot Locker and Nike Cross Nationals are so big, they have to focus on the people that are most important, that are the fastest, like Brody Hasty and Aiden Choutner. You notice that they mostly film those two because they're the fastest. Because it's such a big community, they can't really give quality time to everyone. But with the Junior Olympics, so the opening ceremony they filmed every single person multiple times and it was just super rewarding because they could have just filmed eric larue the entire time because they cared about their community they filmed everyone that says a lot especially since it's a national community they still manage to everyone involved. It's kind of like with me. I'm a Neptune bottle owner. I feel so rewarded whenever I see someone that has a Neptune bottle because we're both part of a medium or small size community that's going to be so big one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys like these outdoor videos. I know I love them. I'm going to be making two more videos this week. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>